Good day. Today we will uh, discuss about Fleet Mechanics 1 SEMM2313. So we will discuss about the Renault transfer, Transport Theorem. So in this uh, discussion, so we are focusing on kinematic of fluid motion. Now, uh, first we need to know what is the control volume and system representation. A control volume, on the other hand, is a volume in space uh, through which fluid may flow. So the idea of control volume is something like this. So let's say we have a, a pipe here, a hollow pipe, and this pipe for we have a water flowing from left to the right so and then if we want to know what happened or what is the effect of the flowing fluid so we could take the the volume here in our analysis so this is the control volume so and then a control surface is the surface area that completely enclosed that control volume so means that uh, we already have uh, control volume here so surface surrounding the uh, control volume is called a control surface a system is a specific identifiable quantity of matter it may consist of a relatively large amount of mass or it, it may be an infinitesimal size the system may interact with its surrounding by various means. It may continually change size and shape, but it always contains the same mass. So the idea of this statement is actually the conservation of mass. So means that if we have one system here, so it can be the system can be changed, can change in size and shape, but the mass must be constant so this is the idea of conservation of mass and now uh, we will discuss about Renault transport theorem we are sometimes interested in what happened to a particular part of the fluid as it move about other times we may be interested in what effect the fluid has on a particular object or volume in space as fluid interact with it. Thus, we need to describe the laws governing fluid motion using both system concept, consider a given mass of the fluid and control volume concept which is the consideration for a given volume. To do this, we need an analytical tool to shift from one representation to the other. The Renault Transport Theorem provides this tool. So means that the Renault Transport Theorem here is a tool or a method to solve problem about uh, moving fluid. So for simple definition or simple idea of Renault Transport Theorem, first let's say we have a situation like this one so we have a pipe here okay so and then uh, we assume that we have uh, an inlet water here flowing from left to the right so and then we have another water flowing from right to the left and then we have an output flowing uh, upward like this as shown in the figure so the idea here is we have a two inlet and then for sure we need to have one outlet and then uh, the basic idea of mass uh, conservation of mass is the total mass for inlet must be equal to the total mass at the outlet so that is the idea of conservation of mass so and then General form of the Renault Transport Theorem for a fixed non-deforming control volume is given is given as this one. So I hope you could uh, remember this equation. So it starts with dn dt is equal to del over d del t integration of control volume rho b d volume. So this is about volume. So, and then we have integration of CS mean control surface for rho times B 
v is velo vn is the velocity for vector n and dA here is the cross section area so for this one i hope student could uh, understand that okay this symbol is actually reflect to the volume means the volume for the control volume and dA here is the cro cross sectional area so and then the terms of vn here so it is actually one uh, single parameter so we read this one as velocity at vector n so means that we need to substitute the value of velocity according to the n direction so how to uh, how to write how to draw the n direction so let's say we have a control volume like this one so the basic idea to draw the n is from the surface here from the surface of your control volume so you just draw an arrow outside like this one and then this is the n direction so if we have a surface here so we draw uh, an arrow outside the control volume so this is the n direction so and for this surface so this is the n direction so and then what is the meaning of vn here so vn here means velocity according to the n vector so let's say in this situation we have velocity going upward like this one and then we found that the direction of this velocity is the same with the vector n so in this point the velocity is in positive sign so for this one so the n is to the right but the velocity is flow flowing to the left so means that the direction of this velocity is the opposite direction of the n direction so the value of velocity here is in negative sign so please remember this uh, basic idea all physical laws are stated in terms of various physical parameter mass is the common parameter let's n represent any other fluid parameters and b represent the amount of that parameter per unit mass that is the value of n will become m times b where m is the mass of the portion of uh, of fluid of interest the n is term an extensive property and b is term as intensive property if n is mass it follows that b is equal to 1 so this statement actually explain about this idea let's say this is our general term of Reynolds transfer theorem so first you need to understand what is the dn over dt so the dn over dt is the n here n system means something that you want to find something that you want to calculate so the value of n okay the value of n can be anything it can be velocity it can be mass it can be force and so on and so forth but in our syllabus uh, we will focus on mass and force only so for this one uh, for the first time because mass is very important means that uh, we need to show the conservation of mass so in this stage so we assume that the value of n here must be mass so means that the dn dt will give us the mass over time so it is equal to mass flow rate so means that in this situation we need to calculate what is the mass flow rate flowing inside the inside one particular system okay so we assume that n is mass so and then we need to uh, change a little bit equation for this and this because in this equation we have b so b here can be anything so b can be velocity can be force can be 1 over s 1 over t and so on and so forth so we will uh, fix the 
we will find what is the correct value of b so let's say because n here is mass so and then t is time so we have mass over time so the unit is now kilogram per second so we go back for this term uh, for analyzing this uh, equation okay so we have a dt here so this is time second so we have rho so rho is kilogram per meter cube so b is unknown we still don't know what is b and dv means the uh, the changes of the volume so volume means meter cube so we found that rho rho is kilogram per meter cube and then we have volume which is meter cube so if we substitute the unit into this term we could cancel out the value of kilogram cube uh, for meter cube so and then the unit will become kilogram and then we have t here so means that i'm sorry because we have a dt here so means that we could create kilogram per time for the for the right hand side terms so because all these parameter we have a t here we have rho we have volume here will give us meet kilogram per second and the left hand side is also give us kilogram per second so means the value of b here must be equal to 1 because b uh, cannot be another parameter because if b is another parameter so will it will uh, imbalance the units okay so now in this situation we must take b equal to 1 so and then in this equation because we already know b is equal to 1 uh, equal to 1 so means that we could neglect the existence of b so that's why uh, this is the the idea of this one so i hope you could read this again so means that if the n is mass so we need to take b is equal to 1 so and then let's say let's say we want to analyze about the kinetic energy so we take the value of n here is the kinetic energy so we have n is equal to 1 over 2 mv square so this is the kinetic energy and then according to this one okay we need to make sure that b is v square over 2 so i hope you could see from this uh, equation so if the the n here is the kinetic energy so if we let the value of t rho and volume only so it cannot give us unit for kinetic value so we must change the value of b here to make sure that the unit here must be uh, same with the kinetic energy so and then so uh, if we calculate we found that the value of b is actually v square over 2g to make sure that the n is equal to kinetic energy equation so and then we make some discussion here so if n is mass so we substitute the value of n here with mass now we have dm dt so dm dt here is the mass flow rate so and then mass flow rate normally we uh, write as m dot or m over t mean mass over time so uh, we could uh, substitute the equation for mass here so we know that the rho density is mass over volume so means that the mass here can be calculated using the idea of rho times volume so we we change the m with rho over volume okay so here from the first term here so this is the first term and then we neglect the, the value of b because b is equal to 1 so we have rho and volume here 
so rho and volume will represent the idea of mass and then we have a dt here so it will change the mass alone will become mass over time so mass over time is the mass flow rate so and then so means that the first term here can be simplified as this one del over del t integration of cv rho d volume so and then for the second terms here so uh, we assume that the value of b is equal to 1 so we have rho and 1 here so and then we have v uh, in the direction of n so we have vn and also the cross-sectional area that we have 